um, oh, okay. suggested that we have a competitive edge to compete on addressing these harms where we actually collaborate in a lot of these areas. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you. We now go to uh, Senator Kennedy, uh, remote. Can you hear us, Senator Kennedy? I can hear you, Mr. Chairman. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. The time is yours. Take it away. Thank you. Um, it, it seems to me that in the guise of giving consumers what they want, a lot of our social media platforms first use surveillance to identify a person's hot buttons. And then they use algorithms to show that person stuff that pushes those hot buttons. This is called, as you know, optimizing for engagement. Um, the social media platform wants a person to, uh, to visit its platform early and often. That's how it makes more money advertising. In any event, uh, when that person that we're talking about, uh, as a result of those algorithms, gets all revved up with no place to go, he posts something outrageous. Not every time, but quite frequently. And that is why you can still find kindness in America, but you have to go offline to do it. Mr. Harris, I'd like a straight answer from you. Um, would you, I have a bill, others have a similar bill. A bill to, to say that, that would say that Section 230 immunity will no longer apply to a social media platform that optimizes for engagement. Would you, if you were a senator, would you vote for it? Uh, I, I'd have to see the the way that the bill is written. Uh, don't Senator, do but, don't uh, do that to me. Don't do that to me, Mr. Harris. Give me a straight answer. Would the would the, we all want to read the bills? Would yeah. you vote for it or not? Well, I, I would I would be in support of a bill that had technology companies not measure as their primary mode of success uh, any of the if, engagement metrics of time spent, clicks, that's, shared, that, that's, etc. That's that's swell. But if the bill said. Um, I don't like to waste time in these hearings. If the bill said uh, no Section 230 immunity if you optimize for engagement, would you vote for it? Uh, you don't wanna, if, if you don't want to answer, just tell me. It, it sounds like a very interesting directional proposal. I just, I'd have to know the details, but I'm sorry for not being more clear. Well, you're being very clear. You're dodging the answer. Um, Ms. Uh, or Dr. Donovan, would you vote for it? Um, yeah, when it comes to bills, the reason why I'm in research is so I don't have to make those decisions. Um, but I would say that when, when we're talking about what these companies optimize for and the way in which uh, doc, it does optimize doc, and op doc, not doc, illness and outrage. Doc, yep. doc, would you vote? Please. Uh, would you vote for the bill? I, I would I would vote for some form of bill that uh, required oversight of these algorithmic systems. All right. Um, I mean, we have these hearings and I appreciate them, but we never get down to it. Everybody just wants, you know, we all talk. I'm, I'm as guilty as anyone else. But at some point, you got to get down to it. And, and uh, if you say, I, and that's where I'm coming from, I'm not, I'm not trying to be rude. I'm just trying to get an answer out of it. You've both been very critical of, of what we have today. I am too. I'm looking for solutions. I'm not just looking to... For us to all show how how intelligent we are, are are not well, I think are, that one of the are, 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 could, are not. We could address. I, I appreciate um, it, Doc. Senator. I'm gonna run. I'm gonna run out of time. Let me okay. ask. Um, I, I'm thinking about introducing a bill. In fact, we're working on it to to take the principles of the General Data Protection Regulation in the EU. I never thought I would do something like this, but take the 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 uh, the uh, principles in the general data protection regulation in the EU, and have that that uh, that th those principles apply 
here in the United States. Uh, Ms. Bickert, would you support that bill? Senator, I, I focus on content, uh, but I, but there are people at our company. We can have follow up on that. Ms. Culbertson, that's a, that's a, a dodge. Ms. Culbertson, would you vote for it? We certainly comply with GDPR. There are some tensions with the First Amendment in the U.S., but we'd welcome a co longer conversation about this. But generally, would yes. You, would, yes. That's, yes, that's Senator. There. Oh, I, I God, God there bless you. God bless you. Thank you. Th thank you for an answer, uh, Ms. I'm sorry, but I'm mispronouncing your name. Veach. Veach. Senator, it's Veach. Yes. I'm sorry, Ms. Veach. I apologize. Will you vote? Would you, if you were a senator, would you vote for it? Senator, I'm not an expert on GDPR. I can tell you on privacy, what we want to do is give our users security. I, I know, I know you want, you want privacy, but your whole model is built around finding out everything you can about me other than my DNA. And you may have it for all I know. And I'm not trying to be rude, but I can't tell you the number of these hearings I have been to. And there, I learn something every time. But when we get down to it, what are we going to do about it? Nobody wants to answer. And you're supposed to be our experts. And I would strongly encourage you to come to these hearings with positions, firm positions, on behalf of yourselves or on behalf of your companies that you're ready to take. Don't just word whip us. We're trying to solve a problem here. Senator Kennedy? What? Yes, sir. I have to ask you for a yes or no answer. Do you realize you've gone over time? Well, I realize that, yes, and I realize everybody else has gone over time. <laughs> Take another minute, and then please wrap it up. I'm, I'm done. Thank you, sir. Senator Ossoff?